Buongiorno, everyone. Buongiorno. I can never remember to, what to say in the morning because it's like we just open our eyes, pack our stuff, get out and start walking. And my eyes are fairly open, so <laughs> I'm not very good in the mornings, although I'm probably better in the mornings than I am You're doing night. great in the morning. Because <laughs> <That's... laughs> at night, I'm asleep pretty early. So that's my best I'm, time is during the day. That's when I'm doing the videos whilst I'm just sleeping. Uh, <laughs> We uh, on day 61 on our Via Francigena, heading off from Aqua Pendente towards Bolsena. Getting an early start, it's going to be warm. So it's going to be a warm one. It's going to be a clear, sunny day of 26. Ooh. 26. Thank it's you. Be warm. That's a warm day for walking. But we are heading down to the lake. We are. And I've, and I've heard nice. that it's a magnificent walk. So pilgrims ahead have told us there's. Olive groves and cherry trees and blackberries. Oh, that doesn't sound good, blackberries. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they said. Anyway, so we will go and eat. I've had bad experiences with blackberry cherries. bushes in Australia. So. <laughs> cherries and also yeah. you've, we, we've been looking for cherries on the side of the road. Yeah. Cherry trees. But haven't they haven't been right. quite yeah. right. So let's we'll see how we go today. Yeah, so yeah. stay tuned. Um, we had a little... Uh, Airbnb last night, which was really good. We were yep. able to cook inside, which is a nice change. The funny um, thing for us is that an Airbnb is usually only very small amount dearer than staying in any of the hostelos because we're two. That's right. So yeah. we're finding that's the way to go. You it's get your own option. bathroom. Yeah. You have a kitchen. You can cook in and even save more. Yeah. It's just um, working for us, isn't it? It was good last night. Yeah. 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 It's good. Yeah. Um, anyway, we'll keep you posted and we will march on. March on. March on. Amo. Mini amo. We're about four or five kilometres out from Aquapentente and we're just walking through these wheat fields at the moment. It would seem... Oh, I can see Radakofani over there. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> it would can. seem that we have left the mountains maybe. Not sure. I'm sure there's a mountain ahead of us somewhere, but yeah. <laughs> um, beautiful morning. It's just this with fields and wheat, and here is a field of newly planted sunflowers. I would love to see if anyone is walking past this way. In about end of August, September, I'd love to see a photo. Today we've walked um, almost nine kilometres. We can still see Radakofani in the distance. It's quite incredible to think that we've come from there. Uh, we have literally kind of moved out of the forested areas and we seem to be just walking through farming areas now. Um, our usual style is that we try and find somewhere to stop, have a snack, a little bit of breakfast if we haven't had any, which we haven't, uh, around eight kilometres in, but uh, so far we're struggling to find a chair or anything, uh, or even a rock to sit on. So hopefully a little bit down the track we'll find somewhere where we can have a little break. Hey Rhonda. Hey Russ. Sun's out, gun's out. Guess what? Guess what? We're at Lake Bolsena. Well, we're not. We can see it. Yeah, that is our first view it. of Lake Bolsena. And we're heading over that way somewhere. Looks amazing down there. And tomorrow we have a rest day, so we'll be down there somewhere. The path changes quickly on the via. One minute we were walking through farmlands, and then we came from San Lorenzo. Had a view of the lake. Now we're skirting the lake, walking through forest trails. It's quite spectacular. It's shady. There are ferns. Um, it's cool. It's actually very nice in here. Um, yep, you just, it doesn't cease to amaze me how many different types of terrain and path we can have all on the same day. Okay. Well, we've come along the path and we've come to this cherry tree. It's loaded with cherries. I'm going to try and grab some. Look at those little beauties. I don't know if it's the sour cherries, which I think are called Amarena, but we'll find out. We are about three kilometers from Belsona, and these wild flowers all through the fields are just stunning.
It's warm outside, isn't it, Rhonda? Very warm. And we've been walking along pretty much country roads all day now, going through these olive groves and bordering the lake. It's quite stunning, actually, and it's been an amazing walk. You may just be able to see Volsina there. Volsina, Volsina. <laughs> we will see. Not long, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Well, here we are. We have arrived at Bolsena, at the beach or the lake down there. And I do not know what that is, but that is magnificent. Looks like a castle to me. That think, Russ? has that sort of castle look about it, doesn't oh, it? Oh my goodness. Wow, how lucky are we to have a rest day here. That looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to explore. Looks like a couple of towers to climb, Rhonda. Rhonda likes a tower or two. <laughs> well, this is what confronts you the second you walk into Bolsena. I don't even know that we're in the old town proper. This is just the entrance. The roses, the old buildings. Let's have a little peek up this street. Oh, <laughs> that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Well, this is quite amazing. Uh, I am, I guess, underneath the Church of Santa Cristina uh, in the ancient Christian catacombs. Uh, you can see an inscription up here on the left that refers to someone who died 400 AD. Uh, she was 56 years old. I can't read that, but I read it in English upstairs. Um, and these are all burial chambers used by the early Christians in Bolsena. Um, gosh, uh, it is like a, a maze down here. I'm a little bit concerned because uh, the lady who let me in <laughs> locked the gate behind me, so hopefully I'll be able to get out. But, gosh, they have these outside of Rome on the Appian Way. Um, I actually didn't know they had them here in Bolsena as well. Um, yeah, uh, and they date back to the third century AD. You might be wondering where Rhonda is while I'm wandering around the catacombs underground. Uh, yep, yeah, she's not a big fan of catacombs. <laughs> Uh, so she sent me down here on my own. She's having a look upstairs in the church. Buonasera. Well, it is evening. We are in Bolsena. Yeah. Uh, what a wonderful little town, hey? Great little town. Yeah. Really. Um, I don't know, lots of alleyways. It reminds me a little bit of a Venice because you can get a bit lost in here. Oh. But it was really nice. Except it's not on no the canals. water. I know, I know all that. I did equate it to that. But there is water and it's down at the there lake. There is a lake, that's, yeah, right. that's right. Maybe yeah, maybe there'll be a gondola. I'm not sure about that, but we're going down there tomorrow morning. Well, yeah, we have a rest day tomorrow, so we're very fortunate. We're going to go and have yeah. a look and wander around. I'm looking forward to it. My body's telling me I need a rest break. So. Yeah, it's and probably then, good timing. Yep, yeah, and then um, we'll have a nice day wandering, and then we'll head off. And do we have the rest of it. seven days walking to Rome, My I think, goodness, after I that? I think we were trying to do the numbers, and it's seven days walking, and oh, it's on the seventh day. We walk into Rome. Yeah. So I haven't done the kilometres, cool. no. um, but we might do that and let you know tomorrow yeah. um, how many kilometres to Rome. Uh, we've kind of got it mapped out. We know where we're stopping. Um, yeah, so. It's exciting. But if the anyway, body's hold up, that's before the plan. That, before that, stop, stop, stop. Before stop, that, stop, stop. we're going to have a break tomorrow. Yeah, so yeah. what you'll see is some photos and maybe some videos of tomorrow in with this video as yeah. well. So enjoy. Apparently, a, you can swim yes. at the lake. Yes, uh, but, but, but. They sell a lot of eels They here. do. So my <laughs> suspicion is the eels coming from the lake. Yeah. So I'm swimming, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see, so stay we'll tuned. See. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.
On our rest day today at Bull Center and we're going down to the lake but before we do that we're going to get some breakfast nice to have a rest day rest the legs we're going to have a look at the old town before we head down that way though and grab some breakfast as well mm. 